Hey guys, this is a new day. Um, so basically, what I did today so far was cut that little hole through. It's probably gonna need to be cleaned a little more. It's like that kind of, but um. I was thinking, and so basically I only have these two jacks that I could use to hold this up, this tube. So I think that I should tack everything in on this side so it could be uh, held in on its own, which it, I mean it kind of is already because it's getting held here, here, not really here, but like kind of, and then um back here kind of so I was thinking that I should probably put this uh, B pillar in um, and tack everything in place so that I can um, take the jacks out do the same thing on that side and uh, try to get some more tubes in here today maybe um, one thing I'm worried about is paint I think I'm gonna do the lower bar and steal it black or gray, I don't know. Like that. Under here. I, I basically want everything outside the truck to be in steel it and I don't really want to waste um, too much of steel it on the inside because um, it's not cheap at all. Uh, I think I'll do black steel it like uh, just on the on the door bar because that's where it's gonna be seeing a lot of like uh, a lot of people like touching it so that'll probably wear out if it's just paint so I'll probably use steel it there I'm thinking paint the cage black or white I'm not sure I think white would be really cool but it'd be more noticeable but black would also be really cool I, I don't know I think I'll probably go with black because um, I want the whole interior to be black, kind of. I think it would match the seats that I got. So yeah, I'm gonna cut this, trim that out. Um, cut like right here. Uh, you can see where the door lands, I think, right there. And it goes through and lands right on this tube right here. Hope you guys are enjoying the videos lately. Um, I'm recording more. And, uh, yeah, get to work today. Alright guys, so as you can see, I'm having a bit of troubles again. You saw me cut that out. Um, and it's perfectly lined up. Um, you know, where it should be, and then up here is like three inches off. All right, guys, so update I just had a pretty big scare. Um, basically, I mixed up this piece, which is for over there, uh, with this piece, they look very similar. Um, basically, I put this in and it was like three inches too short and it was landing like right here instead of here and um there's no way i could have lowered this down three inches because that would be like right there and then it would look terrible so yeah i'm glad i figured that one out it's a simple mistake on my end um but yeah so this piece is in it's fitting actually very nicely you could see right there I'll zoom in a little bit how you could see and there's a lot of uh, pieces like this where um, the tube goes into actually another tube um, I call that a junction I, I don't know if that is uh, technically a junction but that's what I'll call it so there's lots of junctions in here um, I have it's touching a little bit but I don't know it it fits 
Actually, it might not be touching. It might just... It looks like I just shaved it just to the right clearance for this because it doesn't seem to be touching. Um, I'm loving how this is coming together. Uh, as you can see, if I close the door, we're not going to be able to close the door right now. I'm going to have to shave from like right here, the seatbelt, to like probably all the way to the bottom, honestly. But yeah, that's no big deal. Um, yeah. That's my update. So um, I'm probably going to maybe tack everything in, maybe, after I paint. I, I don't know. I, I don't know what I'm gonna do, honestly. So, uh, yeah, I'll update you next. The next thing I do. All right, guys. So, um, on the tube, on the C pillar, is slightly too high. Um, this could be because of these tacks, but um, I want it to be maybe an eighth inch at most, less. So I'm gonna get the uh, uh, sanding disc out and uh, go to work. I'm going to show you how I prep my tubes to be welded and or painted. Um, this is going to be a brief thing, but um, first I'll grab my uh, sanding disc and I will hit all the uh, edges and make a bevel. These things are really nice because they eat away at the metal really quickly, so it's not gonna take too long uh, compared to if you used a grinder disc, it'll take a lot longer. I recommend this. Um, then I will either use my sander or I'll just use raw sandpaper and go around it like that. Um, and lastly, you don't really need to do this, but I uh, hit it with some steel wool. Um, if you have scotch bright, that's probably what will work best, but I don't have any. Um, so, yeah. And then for paint, I'm probably going to end up sanding this whole thing. Or, uh, you know, as best as I can at least. And then, after you're all done with that, you get some alcohol and um, a rag and you'll just wipe it all down uh, and it leaves a really nice clean finish uh, ready to paint and ready to weld. Alright guys, so as you can see this tube is completely prepped and the bevel um, I'm going to test this paint out. Um, just throw it on some cardboard against the fence or something. And uh, yeah, uh, I'm actually gonna mask off right here where a tube lands. Uh, right here where a tube lands. Um, I'd probably give like four inches from the actual weld so the paint doesn't like get messed up too bad. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do next, and then we'll see while the paint's drying if I can cut this out, uh, make it nice and uh, empty, I guess. I don't know, simplified. All right, see ya. All right, guys. So I might have made my last cut. I cut that, cut that, cut that, cut that, cut that, cut that, and then those two. So um. That should be everything. I have like a little chart right here. Um, I might have to like clearance around here. Um, I actually found out on that side that that this is tr three layers right here. So I cut out this layer and you can't really cut this layer because it's really close to this one. Um, so what I did is I made a little like or relief cuts and then I hammered it in it doesn't look pretty but you, you know you're not gonna be seeing that 
Um, this is ready to be tack welded in again, maybe even for the last time, I don't know. This scrap pile keeps getting bigger and bigger. This is just like little stuff. Over here, we have an AC, uh, two shock towers, like and all the like baffling from up here. Um, oh yeah, I left off and and I cut that last time. Um, so it's it's looking very clean in here, more better than I thought it would. I like cleaned it up in these areas and that area, if you could see. It's looking nice. I think it's done.